Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You gotta be pumped on that, right, Will? Computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Well, that's right, fellas. It had to be done eventually. Boom! Enermax Neo Changer. Uh, I gotta say, there is a lot of red goop everywhere from the uh, food coloring I used, but we'll, we'll get to that later. But uh, yeah, my name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. I haven't been around for a little couple days, but that's, you know, you have kids, they get you sick. What are you gonna do? Huh? You, you gotta do what you gotta do. Here we are. Uh, I had to break down the old water cooling build because I was just tired of not using it. When you have a PC that is stationary in my line of uh, YouTube channel and my line of work, it kind of sucks because uh, you can't put new parts into it. If there's tubes running with water in the way, uh, you can't kind of exploit, you know, and th this was a 70, 740X, which is I know a weird uh, CPU that I have. Uh, it's a four core, eight thread basically Core i7, you know, KB Lake, that overclocks to 5.2 gigahertz on, you know, pretty much anything. A really good air cooler or AIO. I don't need this water cooling setup all over, you know, this was pretty cool. Had my 1070 in it too. So now I have that back, which allows me to do some bottleneck testing I was not able to do properly before. We're gonna be comparing this, I don't know if you can see behind me. Uh, in the last couple of videos, I have featured a uh, Fury card, which I will be doing some testing on. That's why I wanted this motherboard back, put it on my test bench. But that gives us the ability to, uh, this, this computer's been uh, on more often than not, uh, and uh, it gives us the opportunity to test out just how good this pump performed. Now, I gotta say, I really, really like this pump res combo, okay? It's uh, here, before we open it up, I'll just show you quickly. Uh, but you're getting a res and pump combo. There comes in different sizes, anywhere from uh, 250 to 400 uh, millimeters, which I don't know if that exactly translates over to how much fluid it actually holds, but that's how tall it is, I think. And uh, it has a really awesome controller setup and the ability to have RGB controlled through this ring uh, via your motherboard software or just using this, which is really, really, really cool. And uh, Enermax sent this over for me to check out and I gotta say it saved the water cooling build a bit because I picked such big uh, rads wouldn't have been possible to uh, put the giant res and pump that I had ordered from um, Alpha Cool in this build, and uh, I was just able to fit this nice little unit in there. And uh, with the variable uh, RPM settings that are right on, we'll get into this in a second. Uh, I had a lot of fun messing around with this. This is magnetic; it just kind of sticks, you know, to things. There you go, sticks to things. And, uh, you know, whenever you need to boost up the pressure and, and maybe alleviate a little bit more heat, you can do that real quick on there. You can also change all the colors and uh, pretty much make it silent uh, for daily day operations. It was really, really nice. So, uh, I really liked this thing uh, for my first run into uh, water cooling. Now, the reason why I wanted to do a, uh, not just like an overview, but a, you know, t check this out and test later kind of dealy, is the top of this is aluminum. Okay, and the rest of my parts are copper. And there was some, this is uh, anodized aluminum. There was some uh, question as to whether this was going to corrode or there'd be some sort of corrosion or uh, uh, contaminant. And from what I can tell, number one, there is a black coating, uh, you know, but that's gonna, there's gonna be spots in the threads and stuff where that breaks away. But because that's anodized aluminum, I don't see that there's any, you know, green death or any problems 
in this thing. So uh, that's the main reason I wanted to do kind of like a, you know, three months later review on this thing. And I had no problem. It's really dirty, obviously. No problems with it whatsoever. It has a readout on it that uh, allows you to see the RPM. Uh, and it it was like a stupid freaking when you put it up to 3500 rpm it pushed the water through there and it went all the way up to uh, 4000 and beyond and you could change it in 150 uh, increments there so the remote's really really good gives you all kinds of color options for the ring on it allows you to change everything but there is um, an extra adapter now this run this actually just plugs in via SATA and the receiver for the IR is right there so that's where you're pointing this thing at uh, but there is a cable that comes in the box there's a bunch of mounting options I use kind of like a, a little choke ring on it there are some other metal options you can uh, you know came with a bunch of stuff but this allows you to plug it into an RGB header and uh, basically use the RGB off your motherboard if you're so inclined. I was kind of going with a couple different ways of lighting in this computer, so uh, I didn't necessarily use that. But uh, I got to give this Neo Changer pump uh, and res combo a huge thumbs up. And uh, after three months, you know, I can only imagine this would keep working very, very well for for years to come. Especially if you know you maintained it and maintained your loop and you're you know a, a good you know kind of person for that but it has uh you know an inlet and outlet and an outlet in the uh at the back or a fill port i should say and uh yeah all in all this was awesome so getting this review out of the way super thumbs up i would recommend it wholeheartedly for a compact solution and you know just kind of a regular old uh water cooling build uh, you know, not having a pump and reservoir separately. If you need some tight spaces, this even comes in one smaller of a size. You can fit this pretty much in any case. And I had to drill some holes and kind of make it work, but you make it work. It comes with a couple different mounting options, and I'm going to say it's awesome. So that frees up my 1070 for some uh, no bottleneck testing uh, that I'm going to be doing on some AMD chips because I've got a whole bunch of those sent to me. Thank you very much. Had a viewer uh, send over uh, 9590, a 4300, and for no, for just for fun, another Phenom 2. I have an 8150 and an, a different Phenom. Uh, so I'm going to be having all kinds of fun with Bulldozer in the next couple of uh, weeks. 9590, I, I plan to hit 6 gigahertz before the winter's over if I can. And then uh, the Fury, I'm going to be testing that. Uh, my uh, 7740X, uh, you know, so there's lots of stuff upcoming, but uh, if you're into custom water loops, uh, my final conclusion on the custom water loop is it's just not for me. Uh, I had fun building it. I would build another one. I'd like to find a uh, PC that I'm not uh, worried about, you know, kind of taking or, or replacing parts in because I, I like to switch things out. I'm one of those tinkerers and uh, to build a system and just leave it alone is really hard for me, and especially when you know I, I have limited access to hardware. I, I am a self-funded channel at this point. Uh, I take what I can get, and when I put one of my best computers locked in a case with some you know water tubes running through it, it was like <laughs> I, I played PUBG on it. That's all I did, and I was just like, man, is that ever sitting there looking pretty, being wasted? So we took it apart, and I think I'm gonna. Find another, I uh, have a whole bunch of water cooling parts, so I'll do that again at some point. But it didn't really seem to be of much interest. There's a, a market for that, and it's already filled by, you know, guys like whatever. So you know you know who he is. People like that. Uh, you're here for the, ma the massive overclocks. This did provide some of that. I'd like to use this giant rod and that pump, you know, for some extreme, you know, overclocking situation at some point. But uh, we're here on this channel, and we're, you know, trying to accomplish, you know, cool things with what we have. And now that I've unlocked the power, I'm going to clean this case up. We'll get another build going. I got all kinds of AMD testing, uh, Phenom stuff, FX stuff that I want to get through. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be around for a while. Thanks to all the Patreon subscribers that have uh, hooked up that. What we're going to do is uh, I'm going to work on that in the next month or so. Patreon is going to be a big focus. If you want to become a Patreon, give me two bucks a month, five bucks a month. There's links in the description. You can go to my website, timmyjoe.com. Or if you have any cool, uh, older, weird hardware, you know, stuff like this out of viewer, just, you know, send me a, a 5770. 
because, you know, he saw I had one of these and said you could run, uh, you know, a cross farm. Cool. Stuff like that. Uh, then give me a, a shout, uh, me at timmyjoe.com. You can always send me some cool uh, older video cards or, or stuff like that. But for now, this will be the end of the video. The Neo Changer is awesome. Thanks for uh, listening to me ramble. And uh, if you want to build a water cooling PC, just be prepared to be married to it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of work on your hands, assembling and disassembling it all the time to uh, kind of just deal with you know, upgrades and stuff like that. Not something I'm really into. I like quick switch outs. So see you guys in another video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.